going on guys, Shibon here back with a new video. First off, I changed my profile picture, so let me know if you guys like the new profile picture on the main YouTube channel. But today is actually a very special day because today is the first day, as you can see from the title and the video, that I'll be actually playing on 240 hertz with this bad boy right here. So I finally got my Alienware 25 inch 240 hertz monitor and I was currently using a 144 hertz from BenQ but then my friends convinced me into getting a 240 hertz this was the best one I could find which is like a reasonable with price and we're gonna set it up and we're gonna test it out on my setup right here right now so hope you guys enjoy the video and get to experience this with me along the way let's go I know you guys want to see this. Yes. Okay guys, so I just fixed up my monitor, routed all the cables and everything, and as I said before, in the title, this is my first 240Hz monitor, so I don't know what to expect, but right off the bat, the first thing that caught my attention was how like, the TN panels are different from IPS, this is my first TN panel, I always use IPS panels from like BenQ or LG, so it's always like a 2K resolution 144Hz or a 4K resolution 100Hz because I'm always like, you know I love tech and I love quality stuff so I love to see good quality images but then I just had to get the 240Hz, I couldn't wait any longer and my friends told me to get the Alienware and now we're here and the first thing I could say is that the, the it's not that color accurate like me personally editing videos on this is a no this is just straight for gaming, watching videos on it is a no for me like looking different angles the viewing angles the tn panel is really bad because like if you if you just don't look straight on you could see like black the black just fading it's like a vignette vignette or something like vignette when you know like when you edit photos and you put that vig vignette effect on it and you could see like the the edges have a shadow around it that's basically what i'm seeing right here but this is gonna be my first time testing out a game on 240 FPS so I'm gonna jump in run the 240 FPS with a 240 Hertz and see like if there's a difference But before I do that I'm gonna play a little bit on the 144 Hertz just to give my memory refresh my memory And then I'll jump on to the 240 Hertz. So yeah, let's go All right, so let me turn this off of 240 FPS real quick so go here, put it to 144 hertz, apply, yes, make sure this is on 144 hertz, alright let's go. I'm gonna do one more. 
just the feel, you know? Get the feel of it. I'm used to this. I'm used to the 144 Hz. Now it's time to switch to 240 hertz. Let's see, let's see. 240 hertz. Mm, yes. And game settings. Okay, guys, so while recording this video, I just realized I wasn't playing in 1920 by 1080p. But I later on fixed it after the video. But it wasn't really an issue where performance was concerned or anything. So, yeah. Just to clear that up. Make sure that's at 240 FPS. Alright. Yeah, I already feel it. Woo. So yeah, as you can tell Woo. at this very moment in oh the video, God. I got super excited because I could clearly tell the difference right. between 144 hertz and the 240 hertz, which was really exciting for me. Yep. So the nice. movement was sharper, my shots were hitting better, my reaction time was better because of that one millisecond reaction time, and I usually use five millisecond reaction time. Just everything was overall smoother, and I could just feel the gameplay difference. Everything was just more snappy. This feels, I don't even know how to explain it, bro. I can hardly control, like, anything I'm doing right now. I have to get used to this. Oh my god. Yes, sir. All right, so that was probably enough Fortnite for one day, but yo, 240 hertz, super fun. This is my new beast right here. I love it to death. I'll be grinding some more games right now. I haven't played a game in like a week, and I'm still cracked. Like, <laughs> like look at me. I haven't played a game in like a week, and I'm still cracked. Stream. Now this isn't gonna be like a super technical video where I'm gonna talk about sRGB color gamut and all those crazy stuff and how many display ports and usb ports it has and like the crazy specs of the monitor i'm just gonna tell you guys the experience i had and my final thoughts on this monitor right now so yeah we all know i got this monitor today i'm pretty happy with it i can run steady 240 fps which is a blessing in games like overwatch csgo and fortnite i had the latest benq 2780q before the alienware which was way more pleasing to look at due to its 1440p res but it was only running at 144hz which isn't a bad thing but I just wanted to see what 240hz felt like so I'm really glad I went to the Alienware because of the price I got it on a huge deal which was like 300 and something Canadian dollars so yeah that was a steal I got it from Best Buy, shout out to Best Buy with the deals, but I just wish it was an IPS panel because this TN panel looks really bad from certain viewing angles or when there's a lot of light coming in. Okay guys, so now this is a perfect example to show you how bad the like TN panels are. Look, this is how the image looks when I'm viewing straight on. If I shift to the side, you can see that it's completely 
like it's not visible and that's exactly how it looks in person so yeah that's the only downside you find with TN panels this side perfectly fine if I look from down here you get a gist welcome to TN panel city now high-end 1080p monitors are like in a really interesting position right now with the 1440p's currently considered the sweet spot between resolution and refresh rate and the 4k firmly holds the enthusiast crown right now so why would i buy a lower res hardware you may ask usage case is an obvious first answer and the ones that's definitely born out in the competitive gaming scene from CSGO to Overwatch to Fortnite 24.5 inches or 25 inch screens at 240Hz are the preference of the pros from the likes of Ninja, Tifu, Nate Hill, Nate Merckx like all those pro players, Lechi, Mongrel, all of them use this Alienware monitor so I said yo let me try to use this see if I could get good <laughs> So yeah, for me who plays several hours of Fortnite competitively every other day, this was certainly a big part of the AW2518HF's appeal. And that's basically the code name for the monitor I have in front of me right now. But yeah, the form factor allows me to easily see everything that's happening at all times. The refresh rate has a measurable impact on my ability to track targets even better than on the 144Hz. So yeah, 240Hz is rightly noted and i love it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't get me wrong i still love like my 35 inch i will be putting it back on the table at the end of this video because i will be watching all my videos on there for sure i'm not watching any videos on this um monitor right here because it's just too small and it's not the resolution that i like to watch videos in i record my videos in 4k so i have to edit them in 4k and i have to see them in 4k that's why i have my beast right here ready to be placed back on the desk but yes guys hope you enjoyed the review as i said before it wasn't anything like super specked out like who srgb blah 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 response time it's like one millisecond response time and stuff like that but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and catch y'all later peace oh yeah before you guys go i stream on twitch All right, but this is my twitch channel right here it's called vision chevy on twitch so i'll leave the link down below in the description so you go give your boy a follow on the twitch man and use twitch prime if you can but yeah peace